G'day everyone, uh, today in this video we're going to show you how to create tickers, so how to create vertical and horizontal tickers in the GT Title Designer. Now you can use any version of vMix to create a ticker, so let's jump to it. What we're going to do is go to new, we'll just create a new one, our production's in 1080, so we're going to select that. Okay, so typically with a horizontal ticker that you see on most news programs, there'll be some content down the bottom, so like a, a red rectangle and then some colored text that is using um, a ticker that goes across it. So what we need to do is create that rectangle down the bottom. So I'll show you what I mean by that. So basically in vMix, uh, if you go to the GT ticker section, you'll see all of the templated tickers that you can use if you didn't want to create your own. But you'll notice that they all have a rectangle down the bottom and then there's text overlaid onto it. So I'm going to show you how to create that now. All right, so now we're back in the GT Title Designer. I'm just gonna show you how to create this content area down the bottom for our horizontal ticker. So what I'm gonna do is create a background area for it. So first of all, I'm gonna select Rectangle, and I'm going to create an area down the bottom for it. So what I wanna do is drag it to the edges, move it to the edges, or I could right click and dock it to the bottom, which will automatically fill it horizontally, and it will align it to the bottom. So I, obviously I could adjust this by you know dragging it up if I needed to, I could go to format, but this size should do for us for this. Now what I can do now is I can also change the color of it. I can edit the fill of this rectangle. I can make it a blue if I wanted to, um, but you know I can make it a gradient. It's entirely up to you what you wanna do here uh, for this. So I'm gonna quickly make this a gradient. Okay, so now I have my um, content area, my background ready to go. Okay, so now I need to overlay my ticker onto my rectangle area down the bottom here that I've got for my content. So I'm gonna select ticker from the left-hand uh, menu over here and just drag the ticker box over the rectangle. So I can just align this up like, whoops, like so. Okay, now you can also double check the alignment here for the ticker um, by going to the format and making sure that it's the same size as the rectangle. And as you can see there, it is the same size. All right, so now we're going to go to the home menu and we're going to edit this text for our ticker. So we wanna make it stand out a little bit more. So I'm just going to change the font. You can make that bold here. Let's up the size a bit. Uh, and then for the alignment here, I'm just going to leave the uh, horizontal alignment the same. Uh, but the vertical alignment, I'm going to make it the center. So as you can see now, it's coming out in the center of the text field. I'm going to turn off the word wrapping um, and I'm going to change the fill to white so it stands out just a little bit more. Um, so there we go, that's how I want my ticker to look and it's, um, it's good to go. Now what I can do now is I can also double click that and enter text here um, if I wanted to, so that's ready to go in my production. I don't have to, but I can do it that way if I choose to. Now one final thing that we need to do is go to the format menu. So as you can see here, I've gone up here to the format menu and I can change some of the attributes of the ticker. Now, first of all, uh, we can choose whether it's add or replace. M most likely it's going to be replace um, for the type. You only select add if you're using it in certain ways with data sources. Um, now you wanna change the direction. You can make it right, left, top, bottom. So we're doing a horizontal ticker here, but you can choose to change the direction here. I'm going to select this as left, and we can alter the speed here also. So I've selected it one, that's fine for me. Now, what we need to do is just go ahead and save this. So I'm going to save this as uh, ticker one here. I'm just going to save it. Uh, and now we can open up in vMix. So we go to add input, title, um, I can go to recent or I can browse for it. I'm just gonna go to this one here because when we saved it in GT, it will appear in the recent list. Uh, and then I'm gonna click OK. And now I can start editing the content for my ticker. But I could have done this before if I wanted to um, when I had it in the GT title designer, but I can also add it here uh, like so. And it will now appear. So that's how you can create a horizontal ticker for your production. Um, now I'm gonna go and create a new uh, one here and I'll show you how you could create a um, scrolling or a, horizontal, a vertical uh, ticker. So what I'm going to do just for an example, I'm just gonna create a rectangle just in the center here. Let's just align it in the center. 
like so. Let's just change the color of it. Ooh, that's not probably not a good color. Um, okay, so now we've got a color ready to go. Now all I would need to do is go to the ticker area and then just create a new box for the ticker. Like so, and just drag these out. Again, I could probably create a um, a group here. So create a, gray, a layer group and then align it a little bit easier. But that's all I need to do for now. So what I'm going to do is edit this text. I'm going to make sure this one is centered here. Make it white and bold so it stands out a bit. Okay, so what I need to do now is go to the format and what I'm going to do is make this uh, go like so. So now I have created a up, uh, sorry, a vertical scroller for this. So I could create credits if I wanted to. Um, so I've got this set up ready to go. Um, and then I can just save it and load it up into vMix. So that's how you go about creating vertical and horizontal tickers in the GT Title Designer. If you do have any questions about this, please send us an email via the support page on vmix.com as it's really difficult to answer technical questions on YouTube comments. So please send us an email. So thanks for watching and we'll see you later. Thanks for watching. Click to watch another exciting vMix video or head to vmix.com for a free 60-day trial. See you later.